Hi, this is Frankie from About Script, and in this video we're going to be covering animated materials in the Cycles Rendering Engine in Blender. So if you don't already have your scene set to Cycles Render, go ahead and do that now. And this will work for any version of Blenders that supports uh, Cycles. So now we have to come over to our material, and we're going to be uh, making two different materials for it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, declare what our animated material is. We're just going to name this anim, short for animated, and make a material for everything else. Okay, now if we uh, set everything else to that, and our animated texture to this. The reason we're doing this in this video is because we have this house and we want to be able to see the inside of it, so we have to you know, put something worth looking at inside our house. And what we're going to do is, in our video, we're going to be fading out these uh, these two walls. So I'm just going to add a solidify modifier to make this look a little bit nicer. Great. So now uh, we have to go into the compositor, where we'll be spending most of our time in this tutorial, and start working on our animated material. So the key to making um, an anime between two materials is using what's called a mix shader. So we're going to add a mix shader, and we're going to drop that right here on our diffuse line. We're going to pick a color for the outside of our house, say a nice blue color, and make it a little brighter. Now since we want everything else to look the same most of the time, we're going to hover over this color and hit Control c to copy it, then go onto our else texture and hit Control v on the diffuse shader. I'm actually going to get rid of this color node just to simplify things a little bit. Now we're going to add a, another shader, which is just going to be a transparent shader. And we're going to drag the node and plug it into our mix shader that we have right here. So now what we can do is go into our rendered view. And we can see through this material, but only kind of. If we wanted to see all the way through it, we put this at 1. And if we didn't want to be able to see through it all, we put it at zero. Now, that's great. We can you know go back and forth between them. But what if we want to make an animation where it's fading? Well, to start, we're going to put it at zero because we want it to start out completely solid. Then we're going to hover over this and hit I for insert keyframe. We're going to scrub in our timeline to where we want it to be uh, fully transparent and set this to one. Then hit I again. Now you can see that as we scrub along here, it's becoming less and less opaque until it gets to this point. And the way that works is if you look up at our mix shader here, the actual uh, blending between the two is changing each frame because it's going in between these two keyframes that we created. And with that, you can create all sorts of different, um, different shaders that are animated between two things. You could do something such as an emissive texture that changes in brightness, perhaps even pulses, just by uh, hovering over a value and hitting I. You can animate the roughness if you decided that was something you want to do, any value. And it's not just limited to that. It also um, includes things like location, as you probably know. Um, but even something like the thickness here. I can animate my thickness, and if I come back here and set it to 100 and hit maybe not 100, maybe 5, and hit um, I, it's going to animate between these two frames. So you can create a lot of really cool effects by animating miscellaneous properties in Blender. That's it for this quick tip, and I'll see you next time.